Spicy time. Three forty-three a.m. at the Hardy Clinic. Remember the Hardy Click Clinic, Shane? Yeah. I'm still up at this hour, reading through the trial record of a certain case. It's the first case my mentor, Mia Fey, has ever handled in a corner of law. The horrifying truth that I refuse to accept is holding me hostage here within its pages. My ex-girlfriend is fucking insane. Dahlia Hawthorne. What I've read, I don't want to believe. What is written here? This isn't the Dahlia I knew. After falling to Eagle River, I was somehow miraculously saved. But I end up catching a cold that seemed to knock me around the world and back. I feel dizzy. My ears are ringing, my throat burns, and my head's on fire. But I will recover. I got recovered by this afternoon. I have to meet with the most ill-tempered witness imaginable. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but I know that he'll be able to help me with him. Somehow. Back to the bridge. Right. Are you sure you're well enough to be doing this? You still look a little green in the face. Or maybe Viridian in artist speak. <laughs> Actually, my fever has gone down quite a bit. How's your temperature now? Only 102.2 degrees. Nothing to worry about. <coughs> Anyways, I read to today's trial record. You weren't bad, Edgeworth. Pretty impressive, despite the circumstances. We're not in the clear yet. The main point of contention tomorrow is going to be the murder weapon. Yeah. In the end, the Shishito did not deliver the deadly blow. Which means there must be another sword hiding out there that we don't know about. Another sword, huh? Have we seen another sword? Hmm. Mm. I don't think so. In the other temple? Yeah, but we haven't gone there in like three years, you know? Yeah. Now, uh, Maya's, a, Maya's an adult by now. Don't you worry about a thing, pal. I'll dig up the murder weapon myself, or I'll eat my coat. Thanks again, Edgeworth. I'll handle things from here. Huh. This is probably for the best. Actually, I was thinking about paying the old precinct a little visit. There's something I want to look into. And that is... Our client's background, naturally. You mean Iris, sir? I had the feeling that we've met before. All I want is confirmation. One way or the other. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell Mari Phoenix. And since I probably won't be getting that from you, because she's your ex-girlfriend and all. I'm sorry, Edgeworth. I bet you do, right? Take care. Thanks for holding the line, Edgeworth. <laughs> Guess I should get moving too, huh? Why? Do you need to be somewhere? Yeah, I gotta get to work on this bridge, pal. I'm rigging something up so we can get something so we can get across to the other side. Oh, that's right. Maya's still stuck over at the inner temple. Damn, it's been three years. Dang. But don't you worry, pal. As soon as all set, you'll be the first to know. But thank you, Gumshoe. <laughs> no problem, pal. Just try not to give me that cough of yours, okay? All right, I'm off. I bet Iris is suffering through amnesia, and then the sneezing coughing's gonna remind her. <laughs> Hang in there, Ma. We'll get you out, I promise. But in the meantime, I've got to continue collecting evidence. That thing looks like it's ready to collapse. At least more than it did before. Torn a bikini. Eagle Mountain is very prone to earthquakes. Which reminds me. If my memory serves me correctly, Edgeworth isn't exactly a fan of earthquakes. Him and his trauma. Narrow path going off in a different direction down the main hall. Looks like someone's taking an effort right to heavily haul on the signposts. Is the phone working? House Girl Temple doesn't have a single private phone line, and there isn't any house in the area, so I guess Bikini's the only one who uses this. 
really wish I brought my cell phone with me. Again? You left it again? I don't think we get anything here. Sure, let's go visit Larry. What's up, Larry? Looks like no one's here. Larry! I know you here hiding in the shack. Get out here. Loris! I can't believe he had, he didn't work. That didn't work on him. I'm sure he'd be hiding here. Let's try again later. Main gate. Come on, please, for our sake, I swear. There's only one guy I know who could be this persistent high strong. I'm talking about the heroine here, the heroine of my book. It'll make you famous. Ah! Enough. A fool's 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 who's <laughs> foolishly accept the foolishness of a fool's fool's. That's the most fool she's ever said in a sentence, Shane. Phoenix is just like, I'm too sick for this shit. I'm too sick for this, guys. Come on. Wouldn't you agree, Phoenix, right? You look pretty good after falling off a fucking bridge. Huh? Me? Wait a second. I know you. You're... Um, ow! Your reflexes and mine need to shape up. My brain's frying like a sunny side up and you want to grill me over a name? Franzi, you can't do that. Even as I speak, Nick's been on the brink of death. Or so I'm told. Whip a dead horse! Isn't that one of your American sayings? You American? It's really American? No, it's not. I'm not on the brink of anything. Come on, Nick. Tell her, would you? Tell her she needs to model for my new picture book, Franzi's Whippity Whip Trip. <laughs> yeah. Before you ask me to model, learn to at least give some semi-coherent testimony. And before that, you'll have to learn how to live a semi-coherent life, Larry. I don't care what anyone says. I'm telling the truth. I saw what I saw. She flew, I'm telling you. Whoosh! Just like that dude with the red underwear. Captain Underpants? Told them I'll forgive you guys when you come back crawling back to apologize. Bra la 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 la. <sighs> Off he goes. What's up? Huh. It's amazing how little has changed with you in the past year, Phoenix, right? How you doing? Have you been in Germany all this time? That's right. Extending my perfect win record. Naturally. Being a liar, I see. It ain't no perfect win record. Oh joy, it sounds like she hasn't changed a bit. Has it really been a year since we first met? And Rizuka Ronkama, Prodigy. I see. Gave up a promise to Germany. He came to this country for one sole reason. Revenge. Rizuka was born and raised in Germany and became a prosecutor at the age of 13. Her father was the legendary prosecutor, Manfred von Karma. Look at him. Look at this beautiful god. <laughs> oh, he looks so innocent and happy. <laughs> How could anyone think he killed Edgeworth's dad? Look at him. <laughs> He's clearly traumatized over it. <laughs> yeah, perfect work of 40 young years. 40 long years, but now he is gone from this world. Executed. <laughs> Don't tell me you still hold a grudge against me. Because of what happened to your father. We saw that in the last game, Phoenix. Did you forget? Phoenix right. Uh, I guess after all that. <laughs> you will fall before me. This, I promise. But it will be for my sake, not my father's. Are we clear? Yes? Crystal. Like this murder weapon. In truth, I was shocked. I came back to America with the intention of defeating you. Instead, it was my little brother who was leading the defense. Edgeworth. Come to think of it, Edgeworth was pulled into being a prosecutor by my red friend Von Karma as well. See, how could he be a murderer, Shane? He's inspired so much people. He's inspired <laughs> so much good in this world. Yep. Miles Edgeworth told me something very interesting, you know. He said this case has special significance to you. 
because it does. And that's precisely why I'm here. Your personal involvement will make crushing you into teensy weensy pieces all the better. It's probably the fever, but she's so openly hostile that it's almost kind of cute. Ooh. Oof. Ow! No smirking! No whipping the sick! That foolish fool, doing such a foolish favor for such a foolishly foolish fool. A dwarf. Make no mistake, Phoenix Wright. I came here for one thing and one thing only. To pulverize you. It's not like I thought you were here to bring some cold killer X, you know. I went over the whole case file on the flight over. You read the whole thing? Yes. Every last word of every last sentence of every last paragraph. All the ridiculous things you did made a very interesting read, you know. You were such a loser back then. Attempting to cr bur cross a burning bridge? Did you even consider the dangers? No. The only thought in my mind was, I have to get across. Huh. A fool who doesn't think is more foolish than a fool who foolishly thinks. Gumshoe said he let me know once the bridge was repaired. Maya, she's gotta be okay, I just know it. I know she's not a popsicle by now. Plus, I need to ask her about what really happened at the inner temple that night. Let's look at clues. I don't think there's anything I can really share with you that will get you get an answer. Here's how about the autopsy report? How about this? Ah! I refuse to help you, Fuse, right? Sure, no better than try. Yeah, but how about. Oh! Yeah, Edgeworth one. That'd be number one. Where's my picture? You don't need it. Ow. Fine, let's talk about you. Let's talk about your, the guy you like. Fine, right, you don't want help. No help. No help. Okay, fine. Main hall. The tempo. Come on. Is this? I think it's Eric. I think it's Bikini. Damn it. Long, long sigh. Yep. Um, Sister Bikini, I'm back from the brink of death. Here, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's cutting off. I'll count that as that you're Um, you don't have to kind of be a good move for my sake. I suppose I made a terrible mess of things, haven't I? I let Mystic Elise die, and then there's Iris as well. Mystic Elise? Now that I think about it, hmm. There's an acolyte stuck at the inner temple. And that poor little girl has gone missing too. That little girl? You, you don't mean pearls, do you? Yes, I'm She hasn't been seen since the morning after the incident. Pearls? She's missing? Why didn't anyone tell me about this? Oh yeah, that's kind of big news <laughs> that he just learned. I must be getting old. I think I've seriously lost faith in myself. Are you talking about your performance at the trial today? You believe me, don't you? I'm not a liar. I would never lie. I know what I saw. I saw Iris pull that sword from Mystic Elise's body that night. I'm certain of it. At least, I was until this morning. I don't see any Cyclops, so she must be telling the truth. Um, so why are you so... Unsure of yourself all of a sudden. You know that artist who testified after me? 
Damn, you call him an artist? I can't believe you, Bikini. I saw Iris flying, her white hood fluttering. Felt like I might start flying myself. When I saw that man testify so vigorously about something so impossible, I started to wonder if I had acted just like him when I was on the witness stand. Oh, don't worry, Bikini. It happens to everybody when they are a witness. I wouldn't take that guy too seriously. He's an artist, but all he does, all he draws is trouble and nothing else. If both Bikini and Larry are telling the truth, that can only mean one thing. They both didn't see what they think they saw. Hmm. On the night of the incident, you met Iris at the Aaron Temple. Is that correct? That's right. I'm sure of it. It was Iris. But Iris claimed she was in her room at Hazakura Temple. I knew I shouldn't have come back that here that night. But because you did, Maya stuck all by herself at the Aaron Temple. Uh, let's try, try that again, Jane. And there, I am so sorry. The drafts in that place are nothing to shake a stick at. Winter is especially bad. I'll bet. The training hall looks like it's about to fall down any second. Eagle Mountain has always been prone to earthquakes, just so you know. Er earthquakes? Yes, I wouldn't be surprised if the next one levels the training hall. We gotta get my all there. Fast. But still, there's really no need to worry. That area on the other side of Dusker Bridge is isolated like an island. It's like an island? How so? Well, the only thing on that side of the bridge is the inner temple. No one lives out there, and it's surrounded by all sides by the river or the forest. Uh, I see. So, a criminal would be trapped should they choose to flee in that direction. And as long as the bridge is out of commission, he or she will have to stay there. Yeah, Bikini, but what if they can fly? Have you thought about that? That means Mark could be stuck out there. With a murderer and with no way of escape either. Or yep. Maya could murder whoever's out there. That too. Yes, I suppose it does. Uh, please, Gumshoe. Get that bridge up faster. I'm curious about a few things if you don't mind answering some questions. Oh, do you need to know my measurements for your investigation or something? No, no, no. I want to know a little more about the victim, Miss Elise Duke's name. I'm afraid I don't know her waist size or her bus size for that matter. Damn, what a shame. I tried, though. No, no, I'm wondering why she came to stay at a place like this to begin with. I mean, she told herself that she wasn't here for spiritual training. Oh. Sound like this place is some sort of dump, mister, right? Mr. Glees was here to soak up the natural beauty of Eagle Mountain, if you must know. There, he did it again. Sister Bikini. I know she always referred to Miss Dukes and him as Mystic Elise. Ow. Okay. Oh, I didn't pick that up. <laughs> Sorry, I did it for you. <laughs> Yes. Now, why is that? After all, she's not here as an acolyte. Well, we address all our visitors as mystic. It makes their experience feel authentic. And why didn't you call me mystic? And anyway, she's older than me. You must respect your elders, you know. How do you know that? How can you say for sure that she's older than you? Hmm. What is this? Witchcraft magic now? You know m magical techniques? It seems Miss Elise Dukeson was no ordinary visitor after all. 
And there's pearls. She was with Miss Dukes and them on the evening of the murder, and now she's vanished. It's all gotta be connected somehow. Just so you know, Shay, that's the third person in this case with five locks. So many. <laughs> They're going what? all out. What? Why did pearls have to get mixed up in this mess? Please, that's all right. I know you're worried, but try to keep it together. Big slap. <laughs> oh man, my head's throbbing so bad, it's killing me. Pearls, she was with Miss Dukeson when I not the murder, remember? Yes, but I have a temple to run, you know? I was busy preparing for the training. I didn't see the little darling even once after we finished eating dinner. The murder? It didn't take place right in front of her innocent eyes, did it? According to the detective, she hasn't turned up at her own home either. I was gonna say, why would she go all the way home? But then she did walk all the way she, here. <laughs> she likes to walk. That's all she knows. Come on, keep calm. There's one place left where pearls could be. Down the river. She just has to be there. <laughs> Come on, Gumshoe. Tell me you'll be done with the repair soon. Damn, all these people with their secrets. I don't know if she has anything else to offer to add. Oh, I'm asking about this crystal sphere. This crystal sphere. It's not from a demon wearing hood, but I would guess it serves a similar purpose. If it's not from a hood, then I guess it really is from Miss Dukes and them staff. Look at the blood on it. Oh, poor Mystic Elise. What do you think of this beautiful picture? Honestly, it's like the end of the world. What? This picture? <laughs> it's not a good thing, that's for sure. To think people have the gall to call this kind of scribbling by the name of an art. Huh? It's the sort of standard you need for art these days. I could be a pop diva. Um, sure, yeah. But what about the contents of this picture? What do you make of that? It's definitely the end of the world. Thanks. Don't know if there's anything to add about. That's ah, good. You certainly have some unusual friends, don't you, Mr. Wright? <laughs> F friends? That fancy pantsy painter is one thing, but whipping the judge is just bad form. Well, uh, you kind of you right. Do you think you can go drill that into her head for me, please? What do you think of Edgeworth, huh? Wasn't he cool? You must be very happy to have such a fine mentor. Mentor? No, 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 he's just a friend. Oh, you naughty devil. Oh, it's a joker, aren't you? Ah, <laughs> uh, he seems like a lovely young man. Like the kind he could always count on. Uh, yeah, it's kind of depressing how much faith she has in him. Damn. Yeah, I think we were asked about everyone else, so. Maybe? Oh, the courtyard. More blood! This is where Sister Bikini witnessed the incident. It's hard to imagine she was lying on the stand, so. Maybe there are some clues that are yet to be found. Mystic Elise took a pair of skis and flew across the ravine. Hmm, clues that are yet to be found. Were anything suspicious that stands out? Just always check everything. It's all not checkmarked again. Like this stepladder. There we go. The main gate's on our side of the stone wall. Different elevations, almost 10 feet. Oh, what, what a coincidence. That's how steep the side is. There's also a height the body fell from according to the autopsy. Is it possible that Miss Dusen was pushed from the top of the wall? The Shuchishito is right there, Mr. Gami's right hand. But it was proven in court today that it wasn't the murder weapon. Given the design, it must have been used for some pretty gruesome things in the past. 
Miss Dokes and Nim's staff. I definitely remember there being a crystal sphere attached to his staff. I guess Larry eventually found the sphere near the foot of Dusky Bridge, but what was it doing all the way out there? They get quite a bit of snow up here at Eagle Mountain. Around here, skis aren't just for fun, they're tools for getting around. But the sled, now that's gotta be for Bikini's own personal entertainment. Hmm. You think there's any shenanigans with the sled or skis? Possibly. Yeah. For creating a speed fast enough to fly 30 feet over a ravine. <laughs> you think she skied her way over the ravine? <laughs> She's very powerful. There are a few of these And then someone lanterns. hated that and threw a sword at her. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Quite a few of these stone lanterns scattered around the courtyard. Thought the city clearly compete with. I imagine they're seeing a lot of pride there. Guess it's the beginning. Must like them now since Iris can't be here. We're out of clues. Ooh. That building up there is the main hall. That was where we were staying. It's kind of funny because it was built on a very steep slope. If you enter from the main gate side, the rooms above us bug me on the ground floor. Apparently, Miss Dushanil must stay in the corner room. Guess that's where she was pushed from that night. Mm -hmm. Don't see anything else. No lottery tickets on the ground to find. We've done all the searching we can do. Wait! Oh wait. Oh, what was that giant and considerably loud yell? So this is where you've been. Keep it nice and warm, I see. Detective, uh, have you finished repair the bridge? Yeah, I did. I told you I let you know. Well, well. Then I'll come along with you and... Sorry, ma'am. No unauthorized entry. Access is restricted for two people involved in this case. What was I? I'm involved, aren't I? You couldn't do much more involved with me. Well, yeah, but that's not what I mean. <laughs> it's been a while, Scruffy. I uh, it. Miss v v v v v v ah, Karma Dead. Sister, please leave the investigation to me. Hi, my my. Well, you certainly seem to have everything under control. I am on your side. I won't do anything you don't want me to. As you work to pin the guilt on Iris. What are you daydreaming about, Phoenix, right? Ow! If that hurts, you know. Silence! I, Francisco Von Karma, will personally guide you through your investigation. So you will follow me. She, she's not seriously gonna follow me around, is she? Are you my new Maya? Alright, let's go. Is she really gonna follow us? Look at this lead. Let's take a look at it now. I have to know what that thing is useful in the night of the crime. She really is following us. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Still thinking small as he thinks, right? Or perhaps not at all. That's why you would never defeat me. Sorry to burst a bubble, but I don't recall ever losing to you. <laughs> it's time for us to sell this once and for all. With one final showdown. Looks like she mentally blocked out my victories over her from her memory. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, this bell? It's a quaint little bell tower. Never would have thought that something like this horrible was about to happen. When Iris rang the lights out bell that night. Okay, I don't think anything else is important. Time to go. Wow, they fixed that real good. You did just fine. Not even a thing to comment on it. Hey, my, we're back. How you doing? Not even a quarter of a wave through. Things have certainly become a lot more hectic than before. They must have commenced with the investigation. 
Oh, Mr. Nick. The, that voice. Whoa. Pearls. Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick. So you were here? Ever since that night. I was so lonely. I thought I was gonna die. When I woke up in the morning and saw the dusky, dusky bridge was gone, I, I realized I was all alone. Because I killed Maya. She was all alone? It must have been very trying for you, little girl. Ah! You're... I am Francisca Von Karma, the prodigy. There's no need to worry now that I'm here. You're the prosecutor who was so mean to missing Mara last year. Well... Uh, I don't like you. You're nothing but a little girl without your whip. Ow. Mr. Ma didn't do anything wrong, but you're so mean. I'll never forgive you. Alright, alright. And it looks like Pearl's were looking under her skin. Yeah, why are you whipping me? I didn't say nothing. You didn't have to. The smile on your lips gave you away. Uh, anyways, Pearls, weren't you with Maya? Ah. Huh? Um, I'm sorry. It, it's not my fault. Huh? What are you talking about, Pearls? I, I, ah, Mr. Maya, she's dead. Again. Again. Hey, wait, Pearls, she just ran off. Ow. That was cruel, Phoenix, right? To make a little girl cry like that is inexcusable. What was that all about? Pearl's acting like that. It's giving me the creeps. Guess I better take another look around since I finally got a chance. Especially since something about this place seemed different from two days ago. Oh, God. Oh. Alright, Shane. What looks different? These statues. Uh, it's always the statues. Look at all the Buddha statues lined up along this path. Phoenix right. Do you think this is how many siblings the Ned Nun has? Maybe. What? Watch well, Oscar next time you see her. You know what? I think I will. And she'll probably slap you for prying into her private affairs. Uh two of them are missing hoods. Just keep that in mind, Shane. Two of them are missing hoods and the fire the incinerator has been used recently. Yeah, let's take a look at that. There's a weird smell coming from that incinerator. The door is also also open, almost like it's begging me to look inside. Well, 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 let's see what stunning clue is concealed here, shall we? Ash. Huh? It's empty. How naive of you, Phoenix, right? But it's a bit strange, don't you think? Francisca von Karma. I seem to remember. Ooh. Oh. There was snow on this incinerator the first time I saw it. And the hoods are still missing, though. No. Oh. Damn. And uh, the suspension thing is gone. Ah. In other words, someone's been using it to burn something recently. Listen, Phoenix Wright. It's impertinent to call people by their full name. I was only copying you. Phoenix right? What? And why would you stop calling me? Would you stop calling me my full name like that? Francisca Von Karma. Was this once a prosperous port? A port? Yes, that metal hook is a mooring post for boats, you know. Oh, that. That's an anchor for one of the wires that was used to hold up the bridge. I think the wire that was tied up to this one probably snapped when the bridge burned down. Rowing mm -hmm. the lady across the bridge. Throwing them across the bridge? Yep, because it I snapped. Mean, hmm. I mean, there's no way there ever been a port all the way up here. Don't get smart with me, Phoenix, right? But I didn't say nothing. <laughs> Read your mind. You can see Dusky Bridge from here. It's a little unusually long bridge, isn't it? I would say it's about 20 yards. I guess the gorge is too wide to cross for a piece of rope and wire, huh? Therefore, no one has crossed the gorge in either direction since the night of the murder. 
a simple yet sound deduction. Wouldn't you say, Phoenix Wright? We can slide. Whoop. This pond, it's frozen. Why? There's a little gate that leads into the garden. It says no entry on the sign, though. Come now, Phoenix Wright. What are you doing? Let's go in. It's half open anyways. What harm could come of it? But it says no entry. We're fucking cops. Don't you Americans enjoy <laughs> doing whatever you like and then simply say whatever? Von Karma, we can't just call ourselves American and then <laughs> do what they do. <laughs> but that's how the Americans live, Shane. She got, she got right on the money. I know, but we're in Japan. We're in America. But I guess we're called sir, <laughs> San Francisco. That's gonna do anything. And who told you that? The sign says air tempo. In American. Oh, in American. I don't know how you're reading it, but it's incomprehensible to me. Actually, I can't read it either. Fame comprehension isn't a very good habit to have, Phoenix, right? She looks real happy to finally caught me on caught me on something. Can't comment on the lake, Shane. Too bad. This must be the door that leads to Aaron Temple. Where my Faye was training on the night of the murder. Yep, that's, there's a solitary room there called a training hall. You could do some training yourself, Phoenix, right? Yeah! You're completely out of shape. Ugh, I don't know how much more of this woman I can take. Alright, Shane. We're going in. All right, Shane, take a guess. How much training, how much progress did Mom make? Uh, not at all. I'm going to say she didn't even do it once yet. Out of the 30,000. Why is there mustard all over the scroll? Curious. What's wrong? And why does the lock look like a mind lock? <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? Wow, she was supposed to be in here training. And yet it appears she's nowhere to be seen. Because she's the murderer. What's that? That strange lock. Blood and mustard. Wasn't there two days ago. This whole room is really giving off some strange vibes. We could do the obvious lock, but I'm more curious about the mustard. What do you think this yellowest poster is, Miss Phoenix, right? It's a scroll, not a poster. It's a picture of a woman who's actually... Hmm. Covering in diarrhea feces. A woman? I don't see any woman here. There's a different atmosphere in this room since the last time I was here. No, it's not a different atmosphere. It's a completely different smell. It's gravy. <laughs> it's gravy, Shane. Gravy. I hate gravy. What's the matter? The scroll. It's been completely covered in gravy. Ah, yes. There is a very appetizing smell in the air. But gravy is a type of sauce. So when you run out of paint, you Americans use gravy as a substitute, I see. No, no one does that. For starters, it stinks. This must be the gravy that we had with the roast on the night of the incident. But why would anyone do this? Why this scroll? Misty Face image is obscured by gravy. Alright, fine. Now we can do the lock. Uh, this door. When I was here two days ago, this weird lock wasn't on it. Those change. It's almost like they're guarding something inside that cavern. I've never seen a lock quite like this before. I have. I've seen locks and chains just like this before. Many, many of them, in fact. They look just like the ones that guard a person's secret during a psych lock. I wonder if this lock is guarding something, too. Great, first we have mental locks, now we have actual physical locks. Dark secrets in a dark cavern. What took you so long? I thought even you managed to get here faster than this. Oh, wow. Mr. Try, what's up? No. Go don't miss me in a while. <laughs> Pro Prosecutor Godot, 
I didn't know you were here. Man, this room is real spicy. The three of us in here? Prosecutor? How come you didn't show up at the trial today? Huh. I could ask you the same question. Huh? But I was... I had a cold and I almost died? I had something slightly more important than a common cold to deal with. Loser. The importance of which is something you have no hope of ever understanding. Enough! I believe I have the measure of you. You are the very worst kind of prosecutor. What could be more important than a trial? Who's the wild main, right? This is Miss Von Karma. She was the acting prosecutor in your absence today. <laughs> Did well, you just I... call her a mange? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. It, it, it's a mare name. <laughs> like a wild horse. Yeah, she called her a wild horse, yes. <laughs> she called her that. Wild mange. Who's this mange? Huh. Well, I guess I'll owe you one today. But you can go now, princess. It's time for the big boys to take the rain. Just who do you think you are? This case is my. Hey, Philly, know your role and shut your mouth. I can't stand a woman like you. God damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to whip him, just blocks it. I'm only going to say this once, Lady <laughs> Vaughn Whippenberg. Go home. Phoenix, right. What? Well, why are you hitting me for? Huh. You deserve more cracks on the whip than that, Trite. What? What? You still don't get it, do you? You don't realize that you set something in motion that you'll never be able to undo. What? What? All I did was just fall off a bridge. Come on, guys. I didn't even do... I haven't done anything. There's something different about Godot today. You're getting such a strong sense of... Something from behind that mask of his. Is it anger or... Is it sorrow? That's just the porn vibes kicking in Phoenix. He's gotta calm down. Why didn't you show? He has something... He has some important business. And that's why you weren't in court, huh? So what was it? I've told you once before. But perhaps you don't remember. Return from the depths of hell to do battle with you. You see, Trite, I've experienced something most have not. Death. You die? Technically, I die too, so we're on the same page now. Yeah. Of course, being extra die from hell is a tedious affair. The meticulous regeneration and adjustment of all your internal organs is... Well... Let's just say modern medicine allows us all to live to a ripe old age. Even someone like me. So, you mean, that mask you wear is... This ugly device? I promise it's not a fashion statement, my unenlightened friend. Without this, I can't see your frequently dumbfounded face. I... I didn't know. My eyesight is pretty messed up. Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see everything. Still, I keep this worn out piece of junk of a body going with regular servicing. You're a fucking robot? Is that what you're trying to say? Robot man. I'm sorry, but... You say that you experienced death? How's that possible? What happened? Why don't you ask him? Huh? Not me? Yeah, try it. You. You should know all about it. You know when my life ended, and who ended it for me. Well, Phoenix Wright, do you? I, I have no idea what he's talking about. Five mental locks. <laughs> Although, to be honest, I do feel a little tug at the corner of my memory. I think I do know about how Godot was killed. It will all become clear in due time. Isn't that right, Trite? Earlier, you said I've done something I can never undo. What do you mean by that exactly? The inner temple here on the side dusky bridge is an isolated island. 
That's what Sister Bikini said too. And I wonder, Trite, do you know what the police are doing here today? Well, what do you mean? They're searching. Searching for any trace of an acolyte who went missing. M missing? As leader of the search party, I could tell you this with absolute certainty. Maya Fey is not on this side of Dusky Bridge. Oh, what a twist. Huh? But that's impossible. She came here that night and... I won't say it again. The chances of her being here are now. Excluding, of course, one very unique place. One? Where's that? The sacred cavern, the entrance of which we are standing at right now. This is the only place that the search party has yet to explore. So they haven't searched the cavern yet, huh? Be aware though, that the temperature inside frequently falls below freezing. Even if she were in there, the chances of her being found alive are slim at best. No, no! Which means, Trite, that you sent my fate to her death. Uh -huh. You fool! <laughs> <laughs> If that's the situation, why aren't you in there for search party right now? You must have blinders on, my Escrillian angel. Don't you see the big lock and chains? It's a trick lock. I'm making preparations to open it as we speak. Well, try. Once again, a woman dies because of you. Once again? Once again? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you've forgotten. It was only two years ago, after all, when the last unfortunate woman died because of you. Because of me? And do you know who that was? It was Ma Fei's sister. That's right, Mia Fei. No, not the whole li lineage. Mama Mia? You killed her! No, Mama that's, Mia. That's not how it was. <laughs> It was two years ago. Mia Fei was pursuing someone, a man. But she bit off more than she could chew. She made a very dangerous enemy. And yeah, that's one case I'll never forget. But, but I got that guy, personally. Sure, Miss Fei's murderer was caught. But that won't bring her back. Well, well, well yeah, that's how death works. Yeah, that's how Except death for works. you. Uh, but, <laughs> you come back. also we can always bring her back whenever, technically speaking. If, yeah, we just need pearls or Mia. Yeah, see? Death doesn't matter in their family. You were with her at the time, you and no one else. It was your responsibility. You should have protected her. I... You say Mia Fey was your teacher. Well then, I say you learned nothing, Trite. You robbed her of her life, and now... You left her sister suffer the same fate. I... I haven't sensed Ma to death, no. What is this peculiar looking lock? Why don't we just break it open? It will be a simple matter of... I'm afraid we can't do that. This area has always been prone to earthquakes. The repeated tremors have weakened the foundations of the training hall. Any excessive force used to break the lock open would. Well, let's just say the air temple in the sacred cavern would be a thing of the past. Very well. Are you talking about bolt cutters? Huh? <laughs> uh, 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 you're thinking too much, Shane. <laughs> Very well. Then there, I suggest the obvious solution of opening it with the key. <laughs> sure. Just show me where the keyhole is on this trick lock. The, there's no keyhole? That's right. An interesting puzzle, huh? The person who set this lock is the only one who can open it. Then who was it? Simple. The accused. What? Iris? When an acolyte undergoes training inside the sacred cavern, the attending sister is responsible for locking the entrance. Obviously, the night of the murder was no exception. Maya Fei was to train in here. Sister Bikini did mention it a number of times, now I think about it. She said that Iris was left in charge of supervising the early stages of this training. So Iris, the accused, is the only one who can open this lock. I've arranged for her to be brought here now. Iris is the only person who can open this lock? 
I hope she gets her soon. Hang on in there, Maya. We'll get you out. Just another two years. Speaking of time, thing, it's noon. Yep. Don't worry about it. So, okay. I should be getting back to work. Wait, Godot. How sure about Maya are you? There's no doubt in my mind. She's in the sacred cabin somewhere. It's the only place she could be. You better start praying. You better pray that friend of yours brought the accused back here soon. Edgeworth? Listen up, Trite. There's only one thing I want to say to you before I go. I'll never accept you. Never. Huh. You should choose your friends more carefully, Phoenix, right? You have horrible friends. That's what everyone says. Looks like I don't have much of a choice. I guess I'll just have to do what I can for now. It's an antique dresser. Don't you dare open it, Phoenix, right? Now that now I know how Ma feels when I tell her not to touch things. What a pity. It's full of nothing but old clothes for the acolyte. I thought we were opening it. I'm from the prosecutor's office. I can do anything. Hell yeah. Yeah, you can do anything. Except stand up to a nine-year-old girl. No who's there. Look at those wafer-thin mattresses. I'm sorry, Phoenix, right? Wafer-thin? Yeah, you know. Thin, like a wafer. In other words, uncomfortable. That's how we describe things, like these mattresses. I guess you must say wafer thick or something like that in Germany. Not about these mattresses, certainly not. Hmm. This cross was a picture of Missy Faye, master of the crane challenge technique. But why would anyone cover it in gravy? Can't make out what's drawn this girl at all. I'll never understand you Americans and so-called artists. Artists? Um, yeah. Think? That's it. Who else is here? Everyone's showing up today. I don't know, should I? Should I? Sounds like someone's talking to himself, but where's that coming from? Yeah, I guess I better wash that off. That's what I'll do. No, but I can't do that. I'm a detective. Ah, my brain. This is driving me nuts. Ah! Is something troubling you, Scruffy? But please don't whip me like that all of a sudden, sir. It was merely a simple greeting. I'm friendly tap on the shoulder with my whip. So what's up, Gumshoe? Something on your mind? Uh, how did you know, pal? Perhaps you were trying to decide if you want to wash that off or not? Uh, how'd you know, sir? Oh yeah, I nearly forgot. You can't go through that little gate there, okay? Um, you mean the one that says no entry on it? I, um, kinda already snuck in there. Is he trying to be clever or something? So what's behind this, Gruffy? Huh? A kind of garden-like garden. A garden? Yeah, anyway, it's under investigation right now, so keep out. I'm not telling you. I'm asking you, pal. You got me? Is that normally the other way around? Well, see you later. Let's go in there. <laughs> so, shall we adjourn this garden, Phoenix Wright? Of course. What, I, what else would, would we do? I really want to know what Gumshoe was thinking of washing off into this mysterious garden. Right, what you think, Shane? Doesn't it look beautiful. The berry garden in the garden. Oh. Hmm. There's a strange feeling in the air. I wonder what it is. Strange feeling? Forget about that. What's this strange writing on the stone lantern? Uh, what are you doing here, sir? I thought I said you can't come in here. Don't you know, Scruffy? A Von Carmel will always show up wherever there's a clue. 
And there are plenty of clues to be found here. But but, but. So how's the air temple investigation going? We have the best forensic team in the world working the place. Forensic team? And what was the outcome of this scientific study? Nothing. Scientifically speaking, the place is as clean as a whistle. Amazing. That's simply not good enough, Scruffy. Do you think I'll let you get away with that? Uh oh. Well, there was a couple of things that bothered me when I first got here, sir. That stone lantern and the surrounding area that's not covered in snow, correct? They look kind of fishy to me, you know, scientifically speaking. So I got the lab boys that had to look him over. The results were... It's kind of hard to say, actually. Guess I'm looking into them myself. Um, about Maya. Oh, um, did Mr. Godot tell you yet? Yes, we heard. He's got a search party out looking for her. But there's nowhere else she could have disappeared to on this side of Dusky Bridge. All we can do now is wait for Mr. Edgeworth to get here, pal. Edgeworth? He's escorting Iris, the defendant, over here. We'll have to wait, since she's the only one who can open the door of the sacred cabin. Oh, I think Mr. Edgeworth wants to talk to you about something too, pal. Huh? I wonder what it is. Just don't be expecting any good news when you talk to him. When I spoke to him, Mr. Edgeworth sounded so down, it felt like I was drowning. Sounds pleasant. There, let's investigate. That's not investigating. What the heck is that? It Maya. clearly says Maya. Upside down. Uh oh, you spotted it, huh, Bell? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? It couldn't be more obvious. It says Maya. Yeah, and before you ask, it's written in blood. You will answer all of our questions now, Scruffy, without exceptions. Uh, yes, sir. Well, Shane, this is the Maya accusation, baby. Again. We finally got there. It just took us halfway through the, the episode, but we got there. The accusation, baby. There are a couple of torches here. Guess you need all the lights you can get up here in the mountains. Yeah, I was looking at those things, pal. They look like they've been lit pretty recently. Recently? How recent are we talking about? As recent as the night of the murder. Maya was trained here on the night of the murder. It's not unreasonable to think that these things were lit up at the time, I guess. But there's a charm or something poking out of the snow. Looks pretty old. There's a leather cord tied to it too. Apparently, it belongs to the victim. To miss at least Dukes and them? Yeah, there was a broken leather cord around the lady's neck. This, the ends of the cord found on both the victims and this, this charm match exactly. Sounds to me like... This little trick is going to be my ticket to getting some very big answers. Huh, why would that be here? A little lantern, a little statue. It is certainly a quaint little garden. Oh! What is this huge bowl here for? Oh, I know this one. It's, um, it's a water bowl, isn't it? Everything else is completely frozen over. But the ice in this bowl has been broken. That's true. I wonder if this has any impact on the case. Um, well, I, uh... I doused my face earlier with, with the water in this. I was getting kind of sleepy. Yeah, next time you're sleepy, you only need to come to me. Got it? Well, this is odd. There's no snow on the ground here. And it's almost perfect rectangle. It could have happened naturally. Yes, it appears as though someone has carefully cleaned away the snow. No, that was you, wasn't it, Scruffy? Uh, no, it wasn't me, sir. It was already like that when my man got, to, got here to start the investigation. If it wasn't the police, then who did it? Oh yeah, there's something I need to tell you. Just between the three of us, okay? 
What is it? It's top secret. You can't tell anyone. Got it? Understood. Well, when I was a kid, I got knocked out of the local wrestling contest, you see. I was so disappointed, I just picked up my mouth guard and cried all the way home. Man, I got in so much trouble when I left on the couch. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> yeah. Whoever cleared the snow, it must have had a reason. Although, I can't even begin to imagine what the reason could be. Hmm. Anything else stand out, Shane? Mm hmm. You're the good old zigzag. It looks like everything got got. Alright, but this place is curious. Very curious. Bloody writing. Maya. So these letters are written in blood? Yeah. What's worse is that it's the victim's blood. Huh? This is Mix Zuxanim's blood? We haven't done a detailed analyst yet, but it's looking that way, pal. Huh. Most interesting. Phoenix Wright, I presume you know, don't you? Why Maya's name is written upside down? Um... At least you know, fell into the air and she was upside down. You know what? That was really bothering me too. I just came up with the answer. The result of my own special gumshoe investigation. Really? Do tell. Well, on the night of the murder, that stone lantern was upside down. He got it. He got it. Easy. Um, anyways, there's really only one logical explanation to his mystery. Miss Elise Duxanam wrote these letters herself, in her own blood. Yeah, you must be joking, that's impossible! From the writing in the victim's blood and the other clues left behind, it seems pretty likely that this garden was the scene of Miss Elise Duxanam's murder. Elise, that's our current theory on how the events took place, pal. What? So Miss Dukesna was killed here? Well, if you want to look at it, that's what people are saying now. Then, what Sister Bikini saw in the courtyard at the main temple was? Well, what was it? If that wasn't the scene of the crime, what did she see? <laughs> what do you think, Miss Von Karma? Surely a special gumshoe investigation will reveal the answer, no? But, but wait a sec, the bloody writing and all the other clues here. Someone could have easily set up after the murder, right? Sorry, but that's not an option, pal. Why not? How quickly you forget, Phoenix, right? Ever since the incident occurred, this place has been completely inaccessible. Because Dusky Bridge was completely burned out. Ugh. I was overseeing repairs to the bridge the whole time. No one came over here before me and my men. Which means no one could have planted all the stuff here, pal. Gert. Uh, I can't think of a counter-argument to that. I knew it. I should have washed the blood off the lantern as soon as I got here. This really was the scene of the crime. I need to figure out exactly what it was that Bikini actually saw. What a crazy bikini see now. That thing must have been worn by the victim. There's no other way of looking at it. You mean because of the matching leather cord found around the victim's neck? Yeah, I bet it was one of those things you always wore. I've got this safe driving charm been wearing for over a year now. If I ever get into an accident, it guarantees it'll be the other guy's fault. Isn't it supposed to stop you from having an accident in the first place? This was found close to Dusky Bridge, wasn't it? That's what the artist guy said, yeah? Right after the defendant flew over the burning bridge. According to his testimony, she dropped it while she landed on the other side. But this crystal didn't belong to Iris. The crystal had dropped out of Miss Elise's Dukes and M's staff. And there are traces of blood on it too. 
The real question is, what was it doing near the foot of Dusky Bridge? Looks like a circus today in court. All thanks to this little sketch. At the risk of repeating myself, you really ought to choose your friends more carefully, Phoenix Wright. Okay, I know Larry's a bit out there. But he genuinely wants to help Iris, I'm sure of that. He wouldn't or have does produced... he? Bum, 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 bum. But does he, yeah. He wouldn't have produced this for no good reason. You are nothing more than Marshmallow on the inside. The both of you. That's everything we got, I think. The situation hasn't changed. I still don't know anything about Miles' whereabouts. She's gotta be in the sacred cavern, though. That's the only place left. I heard it's real cold in there. We gotta get her out of there fast, or it could be bad, pal. Isn't there anything you can do, Detective? What are you talking about? Huh? We're already on it. You couldn't get a faster response from, from a computer. Mr. Godot put everything in place right away. That guy doesn't mess around. G Godot? Yeah, the coffee drinking mystery man who didn't show up in court. I gotta say, he's totally made me rethink my perception of him, pal. Hmm. Alright, I think it's time to either go meet Edgeworth or go talk to Bikini, right? Yeah, for the mind stuff eventually. Ugh. Ugh. Back to the bridge. Let's check let's check the heavenly hall. Nothing. Oh, Oh, whoa. It seems you have a visitor. Mr. Wright! Iris, I'm really glad to see you. Hey, we Good got her out of jail. Good old man to mobilize the police by claiming a state of emergency. Not him again. Never mind him, we gotta hurry and unlock the sacred cavern. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. It's my fault sounds so important to you, it's locked in there. Hee hee. Tee hee. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, can we finish our conversation later? Alright. Let's hurry to the inner temple then. I'll see you there, right? Hold it! Hold it. Huh? Wait, Edgeworth! I'm coming with you guys! Sorry, right? I can't allow you to come with us. What? I hate to be the one to break it to you, but my face is in a rather delicate position. What do you mean by a delicate position? This isn't simply a rescue operation, right? It's also an investigation. That being the case, we can't allow members of the public to interfere. C come on, Edgeworth. If anything happens, you'll be the first to know. Please understand, right? But it's my Mr. Wright. All that matters is that Mystic Mile is rescue, correct? I... Listen to the voice of reason for a change, Phoenix Wright. From now on, consider anything beyond Dusky Bridge to be off limits. We'll be going now. Excuse us. Damn, this court case is everybody versus Phoenix. Ah! Everyone. This is no time to be standing around, Phoenix Wright. You're out of friends and I'm the only person you got left. Sucks for you. Aren't there other things that demand your attention? She's right. Thanks for reminding me. Alright, bikini, we coming back. Oh, where'd you go, huh? Don't show up. She's right there. She's right there. Fading. Being sad. Says a bikini looks like she's shrunk some since I last saw her. Don't be so rude, Phoenix, right? What's wrong, Sister Bikini? Hi, my, my. Hello, you two. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, From the sounds that sigh, I guess she's still pretty down. Iris was just here, you know. She was accompanied by that handsome crimson clad prince. She talking about Edgeworth? 
It was just a curtsy call. I wasn't allowed to talk with her at all. Oh dear, it's all my fault that this has happened. Is it? <laughs> Poor Iris, she was worried about my back, would you believe? Bang, what are the chances that it's actually Bikina that did everything? Oh yeah, she keeps bringing up her back and it's back-breaking work to throw someone 10 feet and 30 <laughs> feet into the air. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done to her? Only what you had to do, sister. You bravely and truthfully testified about what you saw. There's no shame in that. And we'll see to it that your testimony wasn't made in vain. You're not crazy. Hopefully. Well, I don't want to hear anyone else. I don't hear anyone else saying that. Mr. Blue Suits doesn't seem to share your opinion, I see. Huh? Me? Ah! Glare. Oh, oh yeah, you, you did a great, Sister Bikini. You weren't crazy. Ah, absolutely spectacular. You are the only ones who sent that to me. I can't shake the feeling that I just became a shill to a shrew. Do you have a problem, Phoenix Wright? Sure, she was brave to testify so truthfully like that. But I know she's still hiding something. I guess it's time to break those Cyclops of her. Already? It's time? Save? Save. Yeah, I didn't think we had enough info to already break her Cyclops. Right. Unless it isn't. He wouldn't say that, you know, unless it was time. Hiya! Are oh, you crazy old bat? I know you lied. Sister Bikini, the truth is becoming increasingly clear to me. I'm convinced that Mr. Lee's Duke's Nim has special significance to this temple. As to why she has special significance, I believe it has to do with her true identity. What on earth are you talking about? She, she was... Mr. Elise was an author, just an author, of picture books. To be honest, I had my suspicions almost immediately after I met her. Suspicions? Yes, but I didn't have any evidence to support my theory, though. But now I do. This piece of evidence proves Ms. Dukesenham's true identity. I don't know what we got. That? The last thing? What? Karain Masters Talisman? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Ms. Dukesenham had this charm of her at all times. This isn't some cheap good luck charm either. Then, what do you think it is, Mr. Ray? What could a talisman like that possibly mean? It's a talisman, isn't it? Interesting. Yeah. This thing speaks volume about who Ms. Dukes and him really was. This talisman and one other item unequivocally prove Ms. Dukes on them's true identity. Uh, uh, gravy scroll? That's gravy scroll. I, d I don't know how this connects to it though. Cause it, her true identity name her true is. Identity. Like that. This painting is obscured by the gravy thing at the moment. But this scroll shows the master of the Korean challenge techniques. The crest at the top is a sign of that honorable title. The very same crest that adorns the talisman the victim carried with her, which I probably never even noticed, actually, until right now. Same here. <laughs> I'm a great investigator. <laughs> We're great investigators, Shane. <laughs> huh? Oh, that's you. <laughs> this crest is reserved for the master of Korean. Who on earth told you that nonsense? I've got no idea what you're talking about. The new master. My fae told me. What? What? Yeah, you 
give me that acolyte. This misty phase. Daughter? Daughter. Yeah. Daughter. <laughs> Don't interrupt me. No. <laughs> I ain't her. Yes. In fact, since her eldest daughter passed away, Maya is Misty Fae's sole successor. Mystic Misty! Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Easy. Easy. We did it! Larry was harder to unlock than her, Shane. Just keep that in mind. Yep. <laughs> Miss Elise graced us with her presence about a week ago. When she showed me the talisman with the mark on it, I nearly fainted. No one has seen her since she disappeared 17 years ago, after all. What is the significance of this talisman, sister? The Quran talisman? It's a symbol of Master of Korean. The bear must carry it with them always until their death. Until their death? So, so Lisa Duke Snow was really Ma's mother, huh? It was Misty Fay, the master of the Korean channeling technique. The Truth comes out at last. Looks like we're making some more headway here. Tell me, sister. After 17 years, why did she choose to show herself now? Because something happened that called her out of hiding. What? What happened? Well. Oh no! Plot earthquake! What? What's happening? It, it can't be. I like how the text doesn't shake. Ah! Well, it's still gotta be legible. <laughs> oh my goodness, the inner temple. This guy a tremor bite. The inner temple? The sacred cavern in the training hall. It might very well cave in. What? What? My It, it seems to have passed. Well, we can't just stand here and do nothing. Let's go. What? Where? To the Iron Temple, of course. Where else? Sister Bikini, we'll finish this later, right? Of course. You run along now. Have fun. People, I have been hurt. I'll go get some first aid kits ready. Come on then, Phoenix, right? They won't bar you from entering as long as I'm with you. The thank you. Right at that moment, I had the worst feeling in my gut. We just had an earthquake. I wonder if Edgeworth's all right. You look worried. Are you thinking about Miles Edgeworth? Come on, let's go. Let's go. We got her to her temple in. Right. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, how could I? How do you expect us to understand if don't speak up? Yeah, hey, why am I the one getting hit? Shit, she's gone. N no. The defendant, Iris, she's gone. Gone where? She fled. She escaped. What? So, it was just now, during the... It's easy to see Edgeworth's one and only weakness. His fear of earthquakes. I should have known better than to escort the defendant alone. As soon as the ground started shaking, everything went dark before my eyes and I stupidly passed out. That incident haunts you to this day, doesn't it? That's no excuse for letting the suspect get away. I can't
can't believe I let it happen. Right, the Aaron Temple area is a dead end, so she could have only escaped to this side. We haven't seen her. Then we need to get a manhunt on the way now and search Eagle Mountain from top to bottom. Wait, Edgeworth, have you thoroughly checked the Aaron Temple yet? Don't be ridiculous, why would I? The Aaron Temple is like an island. There's no way to escape but to cross. No, that's not it. Iris isn't the type of person to run away, Edgeworth. What are you really? talking about? Sister Bikini mentioned something when we were with her. She said that the sacred cavern might have caved in because of the quake. Then you think Iris might have gone to the Aaron Temple to check on the situation? Listen, Edgeworth. I'm sure she's at the Aaron Temple. A manhunt is not necessary. Right. Let's not waste any more time. We need to get to a training hall sacred cavern now. Alright, let's go. Everyone on the snowmobile. Everyone on the snowmobile! Fortunately, the sacred cavern hadn't caved in. But... What we found... Was something none of us could have ever expected. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, how can there be even more locks? No! No! Edward, Edward just cringes. God damn it, I thought I was done with this. What? What is the meaning of this? Iris. Iris, please tell me. What the hell is going on? Wow, what a cliffhanger.